Good morning, my sweet friends. Today is Thursday, March the 26th, and today is Amelia's birthday. So happy birthday to Amelia. Yay! Um, for today's lesson, we're doing a religion lesson, and we are um, going to get into the miracles of Jesus during this Lent season. We're going to talk about um, some of the miracles that Jesus did here on earth. But before we begin, let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, I ask you to continue to help us through this Lent season and continue to grow closer to you and continue to learn from you and continue to love one another as you would want from us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the Old Testament, God told us about himself, but in the New Testament, God shows, showed us himself in Jesus. And Jesus said to us here on earth, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. And that is so important to remember because Jesus is God the Son. As God, he can do anything. The miracles that Jesus performed were not done by magic tricks. He wasn't a magician, he wasn't working at the circus. With magic tricks, something only seems to be happening. It's not real. It's just like pretend. With miracles, something really does actually happen. For example, Jesus really did heal the sick. He changed water into wine and he multiplied loaves of fish, loaves of bread and fish. He could perform miracles because he is God. The miracles that Jesus performed help people believe in him and follow him. Miracles surprised and helped people. Jesus' miracles were not magic. Jesus is, Jesus is God the Son. As, and as God, he can do anything. Jesus is true God and true man because he was actually here on earth. Now, what is the difference between a miracle and a magic trick? A miracle is something that can be done only by the power of God. So only Jesus and God can do miracles. And the only one that we saw that actually did miracles here on earth was Jesus. And those miracles are the ones that we're gonna talk about in our stories. But remember that only, only by the power of God can miracles be done. The rest are just magic tricks. So I'm going to read to you a story about one of uh, Jesus' miracles here on earth. This is a scripture account, uh, Jesus' first, very first miracle here on earth. A man and a woman that Jesus knew were getting married. They had invited Jesus his special friends, the apostles, and Mary, Jesus' mother, to the wedding. It was a big party with lots of people. Soon to groom, soon the groom, the man who got married, saw that the wine was almost gone. There was not enough left for the guests to drink with their dinner. The groom felt very sad and even embarrassed and did not know what to do. All the stores were closed and he could not buy any more. Mary, Jesus' mother, saw the problem and wanted to help the groom so he would not be embarrassed. She's, she told Jesus, they have run out of wine. It was not quite time for Jesus to start telling everyone about himself, but he decided to help his friend, the groom. Besides, his mother had asked him for this favor, and people like to do nice things for others, especially their mothers. Jesus asked the waiters to fill six large pitchers with water. Then Jesus turned the water in the pitchers into wine. The groom was very surprised and happy. The wine Jesus made was much better than the wine that had run out. This was the first miracle of Jesus' works. Only God can work a miracle. 
Jesus' special friends, the apostles, were surprised at what had happened. And they believed that Jesus was God the Son. So that is our first story of Jesus' very first miracle. So our hot questions are, number one, and don't worry, I'm going to screenshot the questions so you'll have them and you can go back and just uh, look at them and answer them with your parent. Number one, what kind of party was Jesus invited to? Number two, what did the groom run out of? Number three, who asked Jesus to help the groom? Number four, was changing the water to wine a magic trick? Yes or no? <laughs> and number five, what was this actually called? And last, number six, why can Jesus work miracles? So you have six hot questions to answer and you don't have to write them down. You can just talk about them. Your mom or dad will ask them to you and you will answer. If you don't know the answer, your mom and dad will help you through them. And of course, if you have to go back and um, rewind this video or go back to where I said the story, you can rehear the story again and then try to answer the question again. Um, I am going to add another second story um, in my next slide. So if you want to join me for the second story, you're welcome to. And there also will be hot questions, but if you don't want to, don't worry about it, okay? All right, our second story is a scripture account as well, and it is a miracle of many. One day, a big crowd of people came to hear Jesus teach. Some of the people had traveled a very, very long way just to be near him. They were so glad to be with Jesus that they did not even go home for lunch. It was getting so late, and soon it would be supper time. They had listened to Jesus for hours and hours. Jesus knew that the people must be hungry and must be super, super tired after such a long day. How are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? Jesus asked the apostles. The apostles looked around and looked at the crowd. They could not even count all the people. There was way too many. We do not have money to buy enough bread for all these people to have in very little time, they said. Maybe we should just send them home. Just then, a little boy came to Jesus. He had heard Jesus is talking to his helpers. Hey, hey, I have five loaves of bread and two fish in my basket, he said. I want you to have it. Jesus took the basket from the boy. Then, as Jesus blessed the food, something wonderful happened. Instead of just five loaves of bread and two fish, there was enough food for everyone. The people could hardly believe their eyes. Jesus had worked a miracle. Jesus did not use magic. Jesus did not use tricks. He worked miracles. Jesus is God the Son, and because he is God the Son, he can do anything. That's our second story, and our hard questions are, number one, why did all the people come to see Jesus? Number two, why did the apostles want to send the people home? Number three, what did the little boy give to Jesus? Number four, oh, sorry, number five, then what happened after what he gave to Jesus? And number six, what, was this a trick? Yes or no? Number seven, what actually was it? What is it called? And number eight, why can Jesus work miracles? Those are our hot questions for that story. I hope you enjoyed 
both stories uh, during this Lent season. Remember to continue to pray and to continue to learn about Jesus. Today we learned about uh, some of the miracles that Jesus was able to, to give us here on earth. Um, if you would like to look up some videos or maybe a movie about the miracles of Jesus, please do so. Um, I am also going to attach a little YouTube video of the miracles of Jesus if you would also like to watch, um, watch it. Uh, we're going to close with prayer and then um, I have a couple announcements. Closing remarks. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Dear Jesus, I know and believe that you are God the Son, made man. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, so again, happy birthday to Amelia. Have an amazing, amazing birthday. All right, my sweet friends, I hope that you enjoyed the lesson of miracles the miracles of jesus today um i am going to post the questions the hot questions that we like to do in the class so um your parents will ask you the hot questions and then you will answer just like we do in the classroom and if your parents are willing they can give you a special surprise or a special treat for um, answering those questions. I will also add um, some attachments that you can color, some sheets that you, if you would like to color, they're not mandatory, but if you want to, you can. Um, and I hope that you have a great day and I hope Emilia enjoys the rest of her day and that she has lots of fun on her birthday. Hopefully Emilia comes on our Zoom meeting today at 11 so that we can sing happy birthday to her. If not Emilia, it's okay. I know all of us wish you a very happy birthday. And uh, remember that you are amazing, smart, and strong. And I will see you later at 11. I think today, um, Catherine, Catherine Rear is going to be sharing a book with us. So see you later. Bye.